there's a lot of words to describe my sister, but passion, definitely. Because when I see my sister engaged in something that she truly believes in, she will live it. She will eat it, breathe it. It wasn't until she came here and took business that she realized this is where I need to be. This is what I need to focus in on. And that's when, you know, some of the ideas started were through cases she was putting together for projects for school. She also played for the Trojans volleyball. So she was quite involved at the time. Jen was competitive in sports. She still is. She's competitive in business and loves the competition. Anytime somebody new comes into the baby aisle, she's never concerned about it because competition is wonderful. Competition is great and, and she thrives on that. We'd applied to the farmer's market in Calgary to see if they were interested in having homemade baby food. And we got a response right away. And it really just went crazy after that. I realized we made the right decision when I saw our product on major grocery chain shelves. And when we started seeing the sales increase and start hearing the feedback from moms. I can't list all of the awards, there are many, but I think it has to do with the fact that she has started a company, a very successful company, and she's been a very big part of the company and involved in all aspects. This is where it all started. This is where her love for business and wanting to be an entrepreneur started. And it's very special to be recognized. Also, my father taught her here, taught business for many years. And I know if he was here today, he would be so proud of her. I would describe my friend and uh, colleague, Lorenzo Donadeo, as a consummate leader and compassionate. Lorenzo certainly has a passion you know, for the uh, energy business to get where he's gotten to. He's very intelligent. He leads by collaboration, and by that I mean he, he, he seeks input from the people around him uh, in order to make big decisions. He wants that input, he evaluates it, and then tries to build by consensus, and then ultimately leads to, to a decision. You know, Vermillion was a uh, you know, small you know, junior company that uh, branched out of Canada into, into France, and, and uh, Vermillion's international success has been a critical part of you know, the company uh, and its future. Well, Lorenzo's done so much for uh, the community and for a lot of people that, have, uh, that he's touched through Vermilion uh, and other places, and uh, he's done it very quietly. Uh, he doesn't look for recognition, doesn't ask for it, but you know, he, he has a, a, a compassion for giving and for helping, and, and, and to be recognized as a distinguished leader in Calgary, I think is very appropriate. Uh, he's done a lot for, uh, for Calgary, uh, you know, for you know, the province of Alberta, uh, and I think it's really wonderful that uh, SAIT has uh, chosen to acknowledge him in, in this way.